Welcome to the first of six videos dedicated to STROBE, the guideline for observational studies. We want to explain the difference between association and causality. Let's begin. Correlation and relationship are the same, but causality is another concept. In the first example, we will use the switch to turn off and turn on the light. Through the first variable, the switch, I can change the second one, the light. Moreover, if the system works, it works with no room for error. In a second example, intervening in the hours of study, I can influence the note, although now there is some residual variability in the note. In a third example, in a primary school, a teacher can use the height of children to guess the grade which they attend. But artificially stretching their legs will not get them to the next course. In a final example, a clever observer could use a country's internet consumption level as a whistleblower of their cancer mortality. Do not forget that both variables occur in developed countries. But prohibiting the internet would have no effect on cancer. In summary, if there is a correlation, you can always use one variable to anticipate the value of the other. And with more precision, the more intense your relationship is. But intervening on the first will only change the value of the second if the relation is causal. This figure clarifies the difference. In dark blue, we have the treated, and in light blue, those that are not treated. There is a correlation if the treated have a different response to those that are not treated. And causality, when we treat the whole population, we would obtain different results than if we did not. Note that both results cannot be observed at the same time and under the same conditions. What we call the fundamental problem of causal inference. We already saw that the clinical trial used random samples to solve this problem. The important thing now is to differentiate between association, which can serve to predict the future, and causality that in addition allows to change it. And that's all for today. Well, no. One final advice. Practice. Look for an article with causal expressions, perhaps unconscious ones. Thank you for your attention.